Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use code forces for placements. Also this video is a part of my placement preparation playlist which is all about how to crack your dream placement. I'll give a link to it in the description, it will also appear on the corner card. So do check it out and watch out for more videos. So before I even start the video, some of you might be wondering, is code forces really required for placement? Isn't doing lead code enough? Isn't doing problems from lead code enough for placements? Well yes, you can say that lead code is enough. but what I feel is that if you use code forces or a website like code forces, then that will really make the placement process a whole lot easier for you. Okay. So if you solve the problems from a website like code forces, that will really help you in your placement process. So let me first tell you why. So over the course of past two, three months, I've seen a lot of students, a lot of students have come to me and they told me that they're very good at DSA. They have solved a lot of lead code problems. They've done love bubbles, DSA sheet. They've done this sheet, that sheet. And they've done a lot of DSA problems, lead code problems, but still they're not able to crack the coding round of the companies in placements. Okay. So I asked them why. And the reason I found out even from myself, from my own experience, the reason that I find is that the coding round is more oriented towards computer programming problems. Okay. Because the problems that you see in coding round are generally story based, right? There's some kind of little bit story is there. The problems are indirect. Nothing is direct. And these are generally non DSA, non classic DSA. So on the other hand, on the flip side, on lead code, you have direct problems, you know, like reversing list, invert a binary tree, do this, do that. In lead code, there's direct problems and this direct classic DSA problem, you know, that you know that you're given a link list, you have to do this in the link list. You know that you have to apply a specific algorithm in the problem that you already know when you're solving problems from lead code. But in the coding round, the problems are not like that. Prob the problems are different. They're like the problems that you find in computer programming. And that's why I say that you should really use code forces or any other computer programming website to make sure that you don't have any difficulty in clearing the online coding round. So even in my own personal experience, when I was sitting through placements, then I found a lot of companies, lot of good companies in their coding round, the problems were exactly like the problems that are there in code forces. Okay. So it's very important that you use a website like code forces to make sure that the placement process becomes easier for you. So now that you've understood why it is important that you do a little bit of computer programming problems, let's get into how should you deal with code forces? Because a lot of people go into code forces, just start giving contests randomly and get frustrated because their rating isn't improving, things like that. So let me tell you the best way to use code forces so that you're able to clear the old coding round of any other company. So I'm not saying you should not do lead code. You should definitely do lead code as well. But along with lead code, if you do code forces problems as well, then you'll have a very easy time in clearing your placements. So now let's see how you should use, how should be, how you should be using code forces. Okay. So first code forces has have division. So there's division one, division two, division three, and division four even now. Division one is the most difficult and division two is easier. Division three is even more easier and division four is even more easier. So division two is where you'll be focusing. Okay. And division two is where majority of the people lie. Okay. So the problems that come in coding round, the difficulty of the problems that come in coding round are only till div two C or div two D. So in div two A, you have problem A, B, C, D, E, F. A is the easiest, F is the most difficult. So the difficulty that comes in the coding round is still div to C or div to D. So if you're able to solve problems till div to D, then I can assure you that you'll be able to crack the coding round of pretty much every company that there is. So what you should do is you should go on code forces and start solving problems from div to contest. Okay. So try to solve till div to C or div to D, go on code forces, go to the problem set and solve problems till div to A, B, C and till D. Okay. Once you feel like you're able to solve some problems A and B, then you can go into contest. Okay. So in contest, again, the goal is to try to solve problems till div to A, B, C. And if you can D, D is a little bit difficult. So if you can even solve till C, that is okay as a start. So give 10 to 15 contests. So, okay. So if you're not interested in computer programming, but if you're only doing this for placements, try to give at least 10 to 15 contests. Because giving the contest also puts you in that position of a coding round where you're competing other against others and you're given a time constraint. Okay. So try to give 10 to 15 contests and that will really help you get accustomed to that situation of being in the time constraint. Okay. So solve problems till div to A, B, C till D if you can and give 10 to 15 contests. And in case you're not able to solve a problem, then up solve the problem. Meaning look at the editorial and see then how to solve the problem. Now, one more important tip for you is to keep a document. Okay. So keep a document and you'll notice that when you're doing computer programming, you'll find a lot of tricks 
while coding. So, for example, if you're using C++, you'll find a lot of tricks which will make your code very easier, which will make your code faster, or something like that. So, you will learn, you'll be learning a lot of tricks and you'll be learning a lot of patterns, things like that, while you're doing computer programming. So, what I want you to do is I want you to keep a document. Keep a document and while doing everything, while solving problems till div 2c or div 2d, whatever trick you come across, whatever algorithm or anything like that you come across, store it in the document, okay? And revise this document just before your coding round. And trust me, that is gonna really, really help you, okay? So going back to my own personal experience, the reason I was able to clear the coding round of a lot of companies was of because of computer programming. Okay, so I was able to solve problems till div 2c mostly and because of that I really had an easy time cracking the coding round. Okay, so this is pretty much it. I would suggest everyone who's going through placement to at least try code forces once, at least try computer programming once. You don't have to go do too deep into it, but I would really suggest to go into code forces, try to solve problems till div 2c, div 2d, give 10 to 15 contests and that will really really help you in your placements. So that's pretty much it. If you have any doubts about anything, do let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.